Okay, so after we get the 22,500, the opposite of addition is subtraction, the opposite of multiplication is division, the opposite of squared is square root. It looks like a V that's extended. On the square root, there's an imaginary two. So when you see the symbol in the calculator, it doesn't have this imaginary two. You have to know that. So I'm going to do the opposite so I can get B by itself. I don't want B squared, I just want B, so I gotta get rid of the squared by doing the square root of both sides. If you look on your calculator, the square root button is right here in blue. In order to get to it, I have to activate it by pressing this blue button, which will activate all the blue buttons. So two divided by two is one, which leaves us with this B, the square root of 22,500. So what I'm going to do is put in hit second, and then this button, which is the X squared button, but since I hit the blue button, it activates the square root button. 22,500, you can close your parentheses if you want, it's a good practice. Enter, and it's 150. So B is equal to 150, two divided by two gets rid of, makes it one, so we have 150 feet. So then I went back to the top, B is equal to 150. In order to check this, to make sure that your triangle is right, Remember, I'll put check, it's A squared plus B squared equals C squared. We said A was 80, so 80 feet squared plus B, now we know is 150, plus 150 feet squared should equal to 170 feet squared. So again, we're going to do... 80 times 80, 150 times 150, and 170 times 170. And see if our numbers come out correctly. So again, I'm going to take the calculator. I'm going to do 80 times 80, which is 6,400. Plus, don't forget your plus sign, 150 times 150. 150 times 150, which is 22,500, plus 170 times 170 is 28,900. So when I add these two numbers together, it should give me 28,900. Let's see. So I'm going to take 22,500 plus 6,400. And it gives me 28,900 equals 28,900. Yes. So that's how we know that this is correct. This is called the Pythagorean theorem. It is a fancy word that just means anytime you see a right triangle, just make sure you do a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared and make sure that the diagonal is always C. And that's it.